Hey guys, my name is Jessie New, and welcome back to another episode of Wolf Quest 3, where we've just begun exploring the world as Daisy as she tries to find more information about her lost heritage. She's struck out to the Amethyst Mountains searching for some sort of clues about her family, her true family, not the strange wolves who raised her. So far, she has actually managed to catch a few meals for herself too, at least one big meal deer, though for some reason it appears to say elk meat. <laughs> it's definitely not an elk. We haven't actually tried taking down the elk yet, but that's what we're going to do in today's episode. So I was thinking, since this seems to be a pretty good place for Daisy to rest her head at night, maybe we should go into our map and see if we can mark it with a custom marker. If we zoom in here, maybe make it just a little bit bigger, that way we place it in the right location. Maybe we could use one of these special little symbols to indicate where it is. So I guess the diamond? Can we maybe do that? If we click over here? There we go. So there's our custom marker, and it looks like we can rename it too. So for now, let's call this home. I guess, even though it's not technically our home. It's probably not the best place that we could find either. But as we keep exploring, we'll see if we can find anywhere better. So Daisy, do you need a little bit of extra food? Honestly, it doesn't look like she's too hungry. But we'll go ahead and eat up that little scrap. Okay, apparently it was only enough for one quick bite of breakfast, I guess. You know, I wanted to go trotting down to the waterside too, just to see if there was anything else to explore over here. Maybe we should sniff around as well? Just to make sure that we're not walking straight into any enemy territories. Yeah, the Lamar Canyon Wolf Pack seems to be out this way too, so it seems like they had the same idea in mind. They came down here to the water, and I want to say if there's actually a way for us to drink from the water now, right? I wonder if we pad a little bit closer if we'll be able to figure it out. Now, is there actually food over here too? It looks like there's little purple dandelion puffs drifting through the breeze right now, and that usually means food. I would assume it's probably not the elk herd because I think that was a little bit further away before. But I just want to see if we can sniff around before we go. Yeah, maybe if we cross the water over here? Over all of these stones? Wait a second. Maybe we should back out of this so we can see a little bit more clearly. Daisy's too busy following her nose and she's not exactly watching where she's going. Alright, so what did you smell over here? The wolf pack, of course. Now, those strange symbols over there... That actually means a carcass. So if they're not the round little dandelion pups... If they're more of a flat marker, with those little squiggles coming out of the top, that seems to indicate it's food that's already been taken down. I would also assume that that probably means that there's an enemy wolf around there too. And since it seemed to be coming straight from this direction, we probably don't want to go too much further. Actually, does it that mean that our little makeshift home is like right on the cusp of enemy territory? <laughs> yeah, look at that. Oh, we are super, super close to them. That is probably not a good thing, Daisy. We're going to have to find a place that's a little bit more central to this area. Somewhere that's not quite so close to the enemy packs. But for now, Daisy is willing to play it a little bit risky. She still wants to show the other wolves how skilled she is at hunting. I mean, Daisy has learned that it's not quite as easy as she thought it was going to be to live out here. She knows it's going to be no easy task to even find her lost family. So she has to keep her wits about her today. Especially because it seems like it's awfully empty in this direction. Yeah, I don't see any more sense out here, Daisy. I wonder where the elk herd may have gone. Maybe they drifted off somewhere else while you were sleeping? Well, let's try to figure out about where we were before. If we can go to the place where we saw the elk herd last, maybe we could even follow their tracks. They certainly left enough tracks around the place. There has to be a few strong scents around there, too. Ooh, and that reminds me, too. We also want to make sure that we're practicing our sneaking. So if we hold the control key, we can actually creep up on our prey like this. I'm thinking that's probably going to help us get closer to the elk herd without spooking them instantly. Last time we found that the elk were very, very observant. They were very alert. I mean, granted, we did kind of chase our prey straight through their herds, so they were a little bit spooked anyways. But if they have any babies there, they're probably just trying to protect them. 
so we're going to have to sneak up close so we can pick out the right one to chase this time, before they all skitter away. It kind of looks like Daisy's getting tired already again, too. I wonder if maybe that's from just loading up the save file. I don't know, Daisy, do you think maybe you should take another quick nap then? Lazy, lazy Daisy. This is probably why her fake siblings made fun of her all the time. I kind of feel like since she's such a stubborn and strong-willed wolf, she probably butted heads with a lot of the creatures in her pack. I'm sure it would have been the same if she stayed with Bumble's family, too. She just seems like the kind of wolf who rubs others the wrong way. So a lot of this is her own attempt to prove to herself, too, that she can actually do this. And... are we back home? Daisy, did you just go in a giant circle? Oh my gosh, Daisy! How on earth did we get turned around like that? Alright, you know what then, Daisy? Why don't we go ahead and curl up right next to this rock? We'll let you sleep for a little while longer just to get your energy back. I have noticed that we can actually look around while she's sleeping too. Probably to make sure that nothing dangerous sneaks up on us. Oh, and it looks like the sun is rising now. Alright, Daisy. Are you ready to wake up? I wonder if she has enough energy. There we go. Now she's looking quite a bit better. She's a little bit hungrier now too, but at least she's well rested, so we should be able to track down those elk pretty easily. Alright Daisy, so any new scents out this morning? The Lamar Canyon pack is off that way, so we probably want to go this way instead. Back out on the hunt for elk, Daisy. Let's have you charge off into the wilderness today to show you're ready for action. I think I actually want to go toward the clearings this time. Get out of this forest here so it's not quite so claustrophobic. I'm kind of hoping that the elk herd is going to be off in this direction anyways, because it's probably not going to be too easy to chase them around these trees. Any new scents, Daisy? Nope, it looks like it's actually pretty bare over here, too. Quite a bit of lag out this way, though, so hopefully that means that the game is loading up something good. Oh my gosh, I almost forgot. Okay, while I was looking at our settings the other day, I noticed that the game actually changed us over to easy for some reason. So I wanted to make sure that we change it back to challenging, because Daisy is not here to take the easy road. We are not going to let her slack off. We'll have to make sure that it doesn't change it back later in the future, too. I'm guessing that's probably a glitch. Alright, Daisy. It looks like we're nearing the clearing now. So what do you smell? Anything out here? Ooh, there's actually quite a few scents out this way, and I think I just saw the elk carriage. That must be this purple one, right? The wheatgrass herd? Oh, you know, I didn't even realize that the elk herds actually have different names. So we want to go over this way, and I see that we actually have a fox around here too. The fox is actually where we were before. That's mildly concerning. I wonder if that means that a fox is going to move into the area we were taking refuge. Who are those yellow symbols too? Does that mean a dispersal wolf is around here? Maybe hunting the elk herd as well. I mean, I know Daisy's not ready to start any families or anything. She's certainly not going to be able to impress any potential mates. There are a lot of smells over here, though. Oh my goodness. Coyotes. Daisy, this is a lot of information for one wolf to figure out. Let's just try to go in the right direction for the elk herd for now. We'll keep following these little purple drifting blooms. And we'll see where it leads us, I guess. This might actually be completely different territory for you. Now, wait a second. Is it the light purple blooms, or is it the dark purple ones? I feel like it's probably the light purple. Yeah, that seems to be the right one. We're going toward the fescue herd now? Is that what that said? Well, okay. Let's go ahead and get out of our smelling vision just for a moment. Let's see about where we are on the map right now. Okay, going toward the center of the map at the moment, so quite a ways away from your previous home. It might be too far away for you to travel back to, actually. Is this about where we start our journey, though? These big rolling hills, so this looks very, very familiar. <laughs> yeah, and it's definitely new territory. Ooh. Ooh, wait a second, Daisy. That looked like a big, delicious hair. I know it's not exactly an elk. But I wonder if you could practice your sneaking skills on it. Yeah, we're locked on now, so we should be able to chase it. Even if it starts running off, we'll be able to follow it very, very easily. 
All right, Daisy. Hopefully it's not going to notice you. Oh no, I think it may have gone too far away. Oh, it took off the auto lock all by itself. There we go, though. Let's just go for it. Yes, Daisy. Your very first rabbit. Okay. If we were worried about your sneaking abilities before, then I think we can put those fears to rest. You should be able to catch an elk with no trouble whatsoever. We just have to find the herd. Yeah, there are a lot of very, very disturbing scents up this way. You know what, Daisy? Maybe now would be a good chance for you to eat your snack? Let's just go toward the shelter of the trees. Oh, is there actually something up there? Is that something or is that just a tree? I think I'm seeing a tree. Okay. Though over there... Oh no, it was an elk herd. Oh, Daisy. Oh no, I ended up spooking them. Okay, so the elk herd is definitely around here. And it looks like they might be running away now. Alright, so now is definitely the time for you to maybe dig into the snack right here. Go ahead and put down your rabbit. We'll have you munch on this a little bit, just so you can get your energy up again, and hopefully the stamina too. So there goes the hare. Let's see if we can track down the elk herd again. Yeah, they are definitely on the move now. Alright, I can see them in the distance though. So let's try to sneak up on them. Maybe if they don't think we're here anymore, they'll stop running. So we can try to figure out which one would be the best one for us to pick off. We want to approach them from downwind, too. That might be part of our problem right now. Maybe they can smell us coming. Let's try to figure out which way the wind is blowing right now. Yeah, it seems like we're kind of blowing our scent directly toward them. So I think we're going to want to go down this way. It looks like we're walking in the footprints of another mule deer, too. But Daisy doesn't want the mule deer anymore. It's elk or nothing now. There we go. I definitely see them up in the trees this time. All right, Daisy, so you have to be very, very careful about this. We're definitely facing in the right direction, right? Yeah, our scent should be blowing away from them. So as long as they don't notice that we're creeping up on them right now? <laughs> That's probably pretty difficult, huh? All you have are a couple of shrubs to hide between. So I hope your fur is going to camouflage you well. We're so close now, Daisy. I think I actually see one of the elk laying down right now. Unless it glitched through the floor. It looks like they might all be resting. So I think we're actually doing a really good job sneaking up on them. Yes, this is perfect. We just have to make sure they don't see us. Now I think the elk are right in the front. Is that the bull elk? It's kind of hard to tell from way back here. Oh no, did they see us? Okay, Daisy, I think you're going to have to run. Oh, did I just see a BB? Oh, interesting. Should we try to take down a BB maybe? And was that a coyote? Oh my gosh. Okay, this one right here. I think that one's a BB. <laughs> yep, and lag, lag, lag. All right, just go for one of the ones in the middle. Oh no. Oh no, Daisy, they all scattered. Oh, quick, try to find one again. There we go, there's another baby. And it looks like we've separated them this time too. So it should be much, much easier for us to grab a hold. Yes! Oh my gosh! Oh, Mama Elk. Mama Elk is not happy. Okay, let's try to get her away from her baby if we can. Yeah, this is going to be very, very tricky. Alright, Mama Elk is protecting her baby now. It looks like they've actually called some reinforcements, too. Oh, jeez. Daisy, you have really angered the herd. And it looks like they've all come together again, too. Are these two different elk herds? Oh, they're merging together now, too. I can't even figure out which one was the one we were attacking before. Okay. Maybe we don't want to go after the baby, then. What if we go after one of the larger ones over here? It'll be a bit more difficult for us to take down, but I wonder if maybe we could get through without any of the other elk helping her. <gasps> oh my goodness. She ran us straight toward the big giant bull elk. You have to be careful, Daisy. Okay, let's try to grab her again. Now, one of you mentioned that we should probably be biting from the side, because it's a little bit harder for the elk to kick us with those back hooves for biting from the side. Yeah, the lag is a little bit of an issue. Let's see if we can grab hold here. There we go, Daisy. As long as you can, okay? Oh my gosh, I think one of the baby elk were actually coming over to help their mom. Yeah, we were actually taking less... Ooh. 
less damage when we were attacking from the side. We actually got her neck that time. I think we took out quite a bit of damage on her too. All right, if we can get past this lab, we might be able to take her down. Oh, but Daisy, she's getting so tired. It looks like she's almost ready for a nap. Oh, but if we don't take her down now, I can't imagine that we're ever going to find her again. I mean, she must be, ooh, awfully tired. Okay, okay. It almost looked like she was going to go in for the show down there. I mean, I certainly wouldn't complain as long as all of your other elk friend don't help you. There we go. Come on, Daisy, just hang on a little bit longer. Just a tiny bit longer and then you'll be able to rest, okay? Just slow her down. Oh, she's taking so much damage right now. Come on, Daisy, you can do it. You can do it. Don't let go. We are so, so close. Oh, okay. It's time for a quick rest. And it looks like she might actually be slowing down too. I mean, she should be. She is almost done. We've got her pretty far behind all of her friends too. Oh, okay. I see how it is. There we go. A nice good bite on the neck again. Maybe this will be it. Oh, we are so close. There we go, Daisy. Just a little bit longer. Bring her down for us. Yes. Is this going to be our first elk? Oh, thank goodness. I think we did it. There we go, Daisy. You managed to take down your very first elk. It was quite the adventure, mind you. And I think you should probably tuck in right away before anything comes by to take it. Like a greedy raven, perhaps. Hello, Mr. Crow. Looking for a little bit of food, I see. Well, it is an awfully big carcass. I suppose we could leave a little bit for the birds. But I kind of feel like maybe we should tear off a piece for ourselves. Yeah, another nice good piece of food. We are probably so far away from your home, mind you. Yeah, it's way over there. We're actually getting pretty close to the Wapiti territory. I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing that right, so I apologize if that's wrong. But we're definitely too far away to go back home now. And aside from that, was that bright green marker always right in the middle of the Lamar territory? Are they actually shifting territories? I don't remember seeing that there, but that doesn't mean it wasn't there. I may have just forgotten. Is that a bald eagle? Oh my gosh. Hello. Two bald eagles? Daisy, you turn your back for one second and this has become a giant feast for the birds. Oh my gosh. Well, at least you know your kill isn't going to go to waste. But let's find you a place to rest now. It's raining now too, you poor thing. We have to find you a good place to take shelter for the night, okay? Maybe over here by this rock? <laughs> it's not a very good shelter, mind you. But it might just be enough for you to stay dry. So go ahead and put down your meat for now. And let's have you take a nice quick rest. You'll have to sleep off that big meal anyways. I do remember it saying something about not being able to move as fast when you're digesting a big meal. So we'll have to keep that in mind. There we go, Daisy. Good as new. I mean, it looks like you're still a little bit tired but at least it's not raining anymore, and you still have that elk meat tucked right between your front paws. I'd imagine that your carcass is still just over the bend, too. You know what, let's actually have a little bit more sleep. Since it looks like your sleep bar is still pretty empty, we'll just go ahead and sleep off all of your fatigue. I mean, that was a pretty tough battle with that elk anyways. Surely you deserve a nice good nap after that. Then we'll have you sniff around just to make sure that nothing is sneaking up on you. Being so close to a new wolf pack territory, we have to keep our wits about us. Oh my. Do you see that? How many predators are over here right now? Is that a fox? More bald eagles. I'm pretty sure I saw a coyote, and that is definitely a grizzly bear. Well, Daisy. I guess that's probably the end of that carcass for you. <laughs> yeah, there's the fox. You better run. Oh, wait. No, 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 no. Don't go after my elk meat. This is mine, sir. No, it looks like a pretty easy meal since there's no grizzly bears looming over it. But we better eat this while we still have the chance. It looks like you're still a little bit hungry, so we'll go ahead and fill up the rest of the bar. 
There we go, Daisy. That finishes off that little chunk of meat that you tore off. Oh, but I don't think you're going to be able to get another one. With that grizzly bear standing right over it, it's probably not even worth it. I would rather just take down another elk if possible. Sorry that it's so laggy today. Maybe I'll have to adjust the settings a little bit. I'm still not sure exactly which settings are going to be the best for this playthrough. I know that it's still a little bit glitchy right now anyways, so it might change in the future. But this one has been a bit tougher on my computer than most games. There are still so many bald eagles over there too. Like, I kind of want to stay around just for that. We have really attracted quite the zoo over here. I think I actually see more coyotes running in the distance. Is that what that is? Or are those wolves? That's... Oh no. No, 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 I didn't want to start a confrontation. Wait a second. It looks like you're not the only carnivore who's looking for a free meal. A grizzly wants his carcass too and may not let you have it. The fight or flight meter reveals their mood. Try harassing them, growling, snarling, and biting to increase their inclination to flee rather than fight. But with some animals, these actions may only make them more likely to fight you. Watch the meter to see how they respond to your actions. Yeah, not exactly what I had in mind, Daisy. I know you are a very, very bold wolf, though, so this kind of seems like the kind of trouble that you would get yourself into. But can you imagine the nerve of that grizzly bear for trying to take my hard-earned meal? I earned that carcass fair and square. Yeah, I'm kind of wondering if maybe we should try this. The thing is, like, trying it with a grizzly bear first? Surely even you know better than to do that, Daisy. It looked like the grizzly bear was pretty angry with us for hanging around here, too. I'm guessing the red side of that bar is probably indicating that they want to fight. Yeah, and the more we hang around, the more they want to come charging at us. So, Daisy, I think you're actually going to have to put your head down for this one. Take the failure and skitter off with your tail between your legs. She must be so, so frustrated with herself, though. Like, she is never going to let that happen again. She probably just figures she's proving her siblings right right now. Lazy, lazy Daisy can't even protect her own breakfast. Well, Daisy, I wonder if this would be a good spot for you to rest for now. And in fact, I wonder if we could find those strange coyotes again. Or were they these foxes? It looks like the foxes passed through not too long ago. We must be like right in the heart of fox country then. Now there we go. It looks like there was actually a coyote around here. And is this the border marker again? Oh, it's actually a snowshoe here. Oh, I thought these little trails on the ground were border markers, but it actually means that bunnies have been hopping through. Oh my gosh, Daisy, so we've been so cautious before when really, we didn't even have to worry at all. We're free to roam around here if we want to. Ooh, there's those coyotes. That's what those are, right? Oh, did I just see that we smell a cougar? Wait a second. Sniff on the breeze, Daisy. I'm almost positive one of those said cougar. But I'm a little bit more interested in the coyotes right now. If we chase them out of here, do you think maybe we could make this spot our little makeshift home again? Just for the end of this episode. Yeah, let's get these coyotes out of here. Let's send them packing if we can. It looks like there are two coyotes in this pack right now. So maybe if we give them a few quick nips, that'll be enough to intimidate them away. <laughs> Poor Daisy, you just can't catch up to them, can you? Well, I think they got the hint. It seems like we sent them scurrying nonetheless. So while we might not have control of the elk carcass anymore, at least we managed to take down one of the elk in the herd. We will have to track them down again. Or perhaps even track down a different herd if we can. I wonder if there are any other smells out this way. It looks like it's really mostly just the predators. They must be coming straight in this direction just because of the elk that we caught. But we know that they were toward the middle of the territory before. And after one more elk, we should have enough skill on our side to entice somebody to join our adventures. I still feel like Honey is probably going to go back to that same place where she saw that Cinnabar wolf before. Just to show him what he's missing out on. Ooh, and this is perfect, Honey. Yes, right up here. Now you can see for miles. Look at all that wide open land you have to explore. Maybe we'll go down in that direction in the next episode. It looks like there's actually a huge river out there too. I wonder if we can go that far. Yeah, it looks like we probably can, right? 
I wonder if that's way up here, though. <laughs> that looks like it might be right in the heart of a different wolf pack, then. We'll have to be super, super careful. That being said, since she is looking for her missing parents, I wonder if she would actually go sniffing around other wolf packs soon. Maybe they would have more information, or maybe she would just stumble into them if she's lucky. The only question is, would they even recognize her after all this? It's been a long, long time after all, and Daisy's not the little pup she once was. So I'm sure it's going to be super hard to convince any rival wolf that she's worth their time. But for now, thank you all so much for watching, and I'll see you all next time. Bye, guys!